as always, my team, I have to apologize to them, has written a very good speech. Yeah. It's actually been, I feel very happy to be back in Copenhagen. Um, I'm from a small city called Gothenburg, which is fairly close to here. And we had this thing to do when you turned 18, you went to Copenhagen. We liked it, people in Copenhagen not. Actually, when I was here a couple, many years ago, I went to a movie and there was a commercial. That commercial said, don't be drunk in the street. People might think that you're Swedish. <laughs> we call that a culture exchange. ICANN is actually 18, and we go to Copenhagen. I have nothing more to say about that. Um, I've been around for a year now, and it's been a amazing, fantastic year. Some ups and some downs and some visits to the capital of Washington during that time. Um, and people have asked me, what, what do you take away after your first year? I would say that I learned a lot, even if I still don't tell it to anyone. I still have problems with acronyms. Uh, it's terrible, actually. And we still haven't added Swanglish as the official language of ICANN. I'm not improving, so you better learn. But the thing that really amazes me is all the stories I get. People ask me when I come to an ICANN meeting, aren't you tired? Actually, I get energized. Because I have the opportunity to meet you all and talk to you, and you share stories with me. And that is fantastic. And it kind of gives me the power to do what I do, to really to try to do it better. By the way, a couple of weeks ago, I was in Barcelona on the Mobile World Congress. And I had the opportunity to meet the Pakistani IT minister. And she told me about one of the programs she's running um, to help underprivileged girls in the age of 9 to 15 um, to give them something else than just in training and cooking and cleaning. She put them online and she trained them in internet skills and computer skills. That gives an opportunity for people that never had a chance to do something. And for me, that is what internet is all about. That's why I go up in the morning, even if I had to go up in the morning. By the way, we're not going to do opening sessions in the morning anymore. We're going to do them in the afternoon. Is that okay? <laughs> it's been an ongoing debate between me and my staff. I just took you as hostage in that. You hear that, Duncan? Yeah. But that thing, that small thing, is so amazing. And we all have those stories where people really can change their lives with the help of internet. Internet is a game changer, and we, haven't yet, we have just seen the start of it. That is why I do what I do, because I happen to think that internet is very, very important. That makes ICANN important. Not because we are the center of the internet or the gravity point, but we are an important part of this thing we call internet. That makes you important. That makes this meeting important. I know you're going to, we have more than 300 sessions over the next couple of days, or already started. It feels like we're in the middle of it anyway. But every time you sit there and talk about something that you f maybe feel is tedious, you actually create something for someone. And that, I think, is beautiful. But that's an obligation as well. We have a responsibility. And as we talked about, transparency and accountability is important for us. So I want to share with you some of those things we're doing to be more transparent. So how many of you have read my new CEO report to the board? The board should not say anything. <laughs> <laughs> we started doing this a couple of meetings ago, and I urge you to read it. We spend a lot of time to actually write it. Um, we're going to change it uh, going forward based on your input. But it is an important reporting tool where I tell what I do, my staff what they are doing, and how we try to do it better. So this was one of all the steps we do to increase transparency. And that's also why we this time added a trial. And that is on Thursday about noon, we're going to have an open session with me and my executives so you can ask any question you want. And we will even answer most of them. Another thing we've done is that we announced last week that we now have the complaint officer on board. Um, Krista is going to join my team working under JJ. It's also a small but important step to increase transparency. 
We're going to take your complaints. We're going to post those complaints. We're also going to tell you what we do with those complaints. If we've done anything wrong, we're going to tell you. That's how we're going to deal with that going forward. But transparency is also harder to define. It's not always about open session and writing stuff. It's also about understanding. I know I'm not the smartest guy in this room. And therefore, I have an excellent staff to help me. A couple of months ago, I was sitting together with Teresa uh, Swinehart in my room. And I said to her, you know what? I don't really understand all the processes, how they work. And Teresa is always positive. I said, why don't you do me a flow chart? You know, just you know, write down how it works. That was in October, and we're still in discovery phase. And that told me something. Why is this important? Because it's important that people understand what we act, the multi-stakeholder model actually works in practice. It is important that we can say that to you so you know where we are in the policy-making process or other processes we do. And it turns out, maybe it doesn't come as a surprise to you, that one of the processes we're now doing um, is four and a half meter long and contains a lot of different versions of stuff. We are going to do in Johannesburg a session about this. And the only intention I have is to make sure that everybody understands how in practical terms you make decisions and what happens with that decision, how advice are handled, all the panels that we set up, all those things. And I hope we can have a good discussion about it. I have no intention of changing anything, but I will provide this for you. And we will probably, which is interesting, not got everything right. So when we come back to you on this one and discuss it with you, also let us know what we misunderstood. I think that is transparency as well. Someone is calculating how many users there are of internet. I don't even know how they do that. It's 3.7 billion users on one connected network. It's an amazing number. But I claim that they were the easy ones, including Denmark. Because it's often the elite, often the well-powered people who get access first, in the cities, the urban people. That's the one who got it first. Maybe they have English, they know English, uh, or one of the major languages. I think that the next users, the next billion users, or the users after that, it's going to be tougher. Not only because the price for the connection is high, but they also got to use other technologies. We talked about mobile before. That's why I think Diversity within ICANN is so important. That's why I think IDNs is so are so important. That's why I went out and asked, how many languages do, I, do we talk within the ICANN organization? Came up with 54 languages. We today have representation in 34 countries around the world. We need more. We need more when it comes to this, because the next billion users will not have the same rule set as we have. They're going to be very, very local. Because the amazing thing with internet is it's a global, fantastic thing, but it's also a village. What do you want to do when you get online? You want to have your local municipality access. You want to have local newspapers. That is the things that you, you also have friend locally. That is a lot of the exchange. And to be able to better support them, the next generation of internet users, we need to be diverse enough to understand those needs going forward. But then again, we're in Copenhagen, this amazing city. And Duncan told me I'm not allowed to share any of my memories from my youth in Copenhagen. So I won't. With that, as always, I will leave over the important work for you. Welcome to Copenhagen. Welcome to ICANN 58. Thank you.